Friday. Paperboy Trucker back at you. Still in Texas. I'm on Highway 77 North. As you can see on this sign, about 12 miles south of Waco. Or I like to say Waco. Home of Baylor University. And you know, I picked up this load back there at Charlotte Pipe. And uh, you know, I'm about 30 or 40 minutes north of there. And the fleet manager called me and said uh, he's he wants me to swap this load with another driver that's got a request to be home early this week. And he must live somewhere there in the Fort Worth area. Uh, in fact, he just sent me the, the driver's phone number and name and all, so when I get stopped up here for a load check somewhere, I'll call him. But he told me I could drive as far as I wanted to tonight, which I've kind of got a Lowe's picked out uh, right at the exit off of Interstate 20 near near where I'm going to be delivering, probably within 10 miles or so. So that's my plan. I'm going to go ahead and just get get there. And then uh, fleet manager said that this, this other driver is leaving Laredo, Texas, or is about to leave, or just left, I'm not sure, and pretty much has a full clock, so he could probably get to wherever I'm going to stop later tonight, which that'll work out for me because, you know, the delivery appointment on this load is for 10 a.m. tomorrow. And, you know, I could get there today. I mean, I could be at this place by 5 p.m. or 5.30 at the latest. So that means, you know, I'm going to be sitting around for hours tomorrow just waiting to get it delivered. But if I can do a swap tonight, he said the, the other driver's load goes to Paragool, Arkansas and coming from Laredo that probably means it's railroad parts I've picked up some some stuff down there in Laredo before that delivers to a place in Paragool that makes uh, railroad cars frames and stuff like that so that's probably what it is I guess I'm finally getting into some rain you know I was just telling a buddy of mine on the phone that real cloudy and cool down here because of the, I guess the, you know close enough to where that the hurricane came through Houston yesterday or recently I'm not sure about that it looks like I'm getting into some rain now so it looks like that's the plan I'm gonna be swapping this load either later tonight or earlier in the morning Later tonight would be better. That way I can get up in the morning, try to get through Dallas before it gets crazy. And uh, I think that load delivers Thursday morning. So, you know, it might be a load I could even stop off at, at home for Wednesday evening. We'll see. We'll see. But I was just giving you a little road footage and updating you on that situation. And I got a text message a little while ago from a, a fella, I don't know if I've mentioned him in a while, but his name's Tony. He lives down uh, south of Nashville somewhere. And he's, I think he just started uh, CDL school down there somewhere. You know, he he had been working. He's, he's about my age, maybe a little younger. And uh, he's just wanting to change careers. So he's enrolled in a CD, CDL school down there. And I believe his plan is he's, he's going to sign on with Maverick and do a, a, a dedicated, I think that's the right term for it, out of the, uh, the Home Depot distribution center that's, that we have down there. There's kind of a, 
kind of a small distribution center down there as I remember I picked up a load there one time a couple years ago so I think that's what he's trying to do I don't know if he's got his mind made up but uh, he sounds like a good guy and, you know kind of in the situation I was in looking for something else to do changing careers trying to figure out you know if he wants to do this <laughs> At least with Maverick, but I think you know he's he uh, wants to be home maybe more than I am. So he, you know, the dedicated jobs like that, you might not make as much as being over the road, but you're home more. Maybe even every night. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I'll, I'll get back with Tony later on after I get stopped. All right, what's the name of this town? I don't know. All right, guys, more later. Good Wednesday morning to everybody. Well, I stopped at this little uh, vehicle inspection station here off of I-30, heading east in Texas. Um, I don't think I've told you yet, but you know, I, I did a load swap last night. The guy that brought me this load got to the loves there in, uh, oh gosh, I don't even remember the name of the town. Anyway, I got to the loves around 5.30 in the afternoon and uh, parked, unhooked from my trailer and then parked the truck next in the next spot. So basically I saved him a spot because he didn't get there till about midnight or 12.30. Then we were able to swap, swap loads, send in our information. And um, he had a request to get home uh, early this week. So this swap will help him do that. Now this load here, these are some, some sort of railroad parts that came out of Laredo, Texas. I've hauled a load of these once before, so I, I kind of know where I'm taking them to. It's a, a place in uh, Paragould, Arkansas, which is up in Northeast Arkansas. But you see, uh, this is it, some sort of railroad car frame, framing, so it's just straps, just straps. And I just stopped here and did a, uh, you know, went around the truck and, I was able to tighten up just about every strap, you know, one or two notches. So, um, you know, you have to do that as you travel with most loads because they settle in a little bit. But uh, anyway, you know, I've been driving for about, oh gosh, probably two and a half hours so far. I, you know, once we did the load swap around 12.30, one o'clock, I really didn't go back to sleep. And I got my clock back around 3, 3.30. So I just headed out. Um, hold on, let me turn this music down. Let me check the name of that town where we met. Weatherford, Texas. Yeah, so I made it to the Loves in Weatherford, Texas. And the load that he took, his name was Joshua. It delivered there in Weatherford, Texas. So I delivered, you know, I, I drove most of the miles on that load. So I got, you know, pretty much all but maybe 10 miles of the load. But it helps him get home. You know, because he wouldn't have been able to get home for his special request if he had taken this load all the way up to Northeast Arkansas. So, that's how it works. Um, my instructions say I'm supposed to deliver this. I have a window of time from like 7 to 3 tomorrow, Thursday. But I think, you know, I'll have to stop and take a 30 minute break. But I can probably get to this place by 2 o'clock today. 
so I'm probably gonna call them in a couple of hours and just make sure I can deliver it today they don't have overnight parking so and there's really there's not a Love's or a Pilot very close I mean there's one maybe half an hour away but not like right there you know it's, it's just a small town so anyway that's kind of an update did a load swap got up early uh, sleepy already <laughs> okay more later okay folks paper boy trucker back at you here at this uh, nice rest area and on the Arkansas side of Texarkana doing my 30 minute break and I've called my customer oh, let me hang up on that I've called my customer and uh, they said if I could get there by 2 30 this afternoon I could get unloaded so I think I can do that should be able to get there between 2 and 2 30 so it's gonna be cutting it kind of close so I'll probably have to stop and get some fuel too but anyway doing my 30 minute break here all right everybody well I apologize for not getting any footage of my delivery back there I'm leaving Paragould Arkansas and as you remember I had those uh, rail car pieces for that load swap I picked up in Texas yesterday early this morning I should say but man I got in there and uh, you know they were they wanted to get me unloaded because the shift ended at 3 o'clock <laughs> I got there just in time and uh, they they got me going so fast I didn't even have time to mess with my camera so quick unload that's good and I uh, you know after I got all my materials put away I had to sit and park there for about 15 minutes and they sent me an order to uh, Armorel or Blytheville it's basically the same thing to a Nucor Yamato plant where they, they do steel beams I've been there two or three times before but it's probably been almost a year ago so I'm hoping I've got just enough time to get there on my drive clock so it's gonna be close so uh, they do have overnight parking so uh, my pickup appointment is for tomorrow morning at 6 so that'll work out pretty good um, I'll be able to park there be there first thing in the morning I don't know what time they start loading but I'm guessing it's probably six o'clock so and the load goes to back to Texas this is a Texas week Hewitt Texas it's 600 and something miles from Blytheville so pretty good trip I deliver it Friday morning got a little window of time from 7 to 10 a.m. So that'll work all right. Steel beams are pretty easy. Basically, just throw some chains over, tighten them down, off you go. Anyway, I'll show you some footage when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> 